Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to create custom power modes using your Garmin Instinct Solar Watch. Now I mentioned the Solar Watch because I believe the only uh, available options that you have to do this on are going to be on the solar models. If you've got one of the non-solar instincts, I don't think you're going to be able to do power manager settings. So the other thing is let's don't get this confused with battery saver. There's battery saver and there's power manager. Battery saver is basically going to be a predefined set of values on your watch that will turn off or on whenever you turn on the battery saver functionality. So when you're trying to preserve battery life, what is it that you want to disconnect from your watch? Power manager is where you can create power modes and then you can predefine them on certain activities. I'll do my best to try and explain to you how that works and then we'll go create a couple power modes just to give a couple examples. So let's say we're going to go do an activity. I'm going to press the GPS button and let's look at the different activities I've got here. So let's say I want to do, let's start with the walk activity. I want to go for a walk. I want to have my uh, heart rate monitoring on but I don't care about GPS and I don't care about phone. So I'm gonna choose walk and you'll notice the first thing that happens is the GPS starts connecting, my heart rate is on and my phone is connected. I can press the menu button to look at my options. When I go down to options, you'll see there's one called power mode. I can press GPS to select it. I've got a couple different predefined options from Garmin that I can look at in here. Currently it's on normal, which is using GPS, heart rate and phone connection. Well, I can go to max battery. Max battery turns off GPS, turns off heart rate, and turns off phone. You'll notice each one of these as I go through it, I'll see how much battery life I'll gain. There's also a jacket mode, which gives me GPS, doesn't give me heart rate, but it keeps my phone connected. When none of those work for what I'm wanting to do, I want heart rate on and I want GPS on, but I don't want my phone connected. So what do you do? You go create a custom power mode and then we assign it to this activity. So I'm gonna go back. Before we do that, let's say I'm gonna go do the hunting activity. Same thing, when I go into the hunt activity, GPS starts connecting, heart rate's on, phone's on. Well, when I'm going hunting, I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna go look at the power manager. I do want GPS. I don't really care about heart rate and I don't really care about phone. Again, max battery takes all of those, turns them off, Jacket mode gives me uh, GPS and phone, but it doesn't give me heart rate. So again, I have power settings that don't match up for the given activity that I'm wanting to do. So let's go create a couple, a couple power modes that we can use with those activities. So when we're on our main watch face, we're gonna press and hold the menu button. Then we're gonna use the up or down button. We're gonna go to settings. Press GPS to select settings, and again, we're going to use the up or down button. We're going to go to power manager. We're going to press GPS to select power manager. Now, again, we're not talking about battery saver here. We're talking about power modes. Press GPS to select power modes, and we're going to see the same power modes that we just looked at as options when we were doing our activities. Max battery turns off GPS, heart rate, and phone. Jacket mode turns off heart rate, leaves on phone, there's no GPS at all. Now you could edit one of these that Garmin gives you. I don't really recommend that. I would keep the predefined Garmin values out there, especially since they give you the option to just build your own. At the very bottom here, we can do add. I'm gonna press GPS and we're gonna add our own power manager mode. Now you can name it anything you want to. Um, if I had more time, I would probably put something like heart, no GPS or something like that. But in this example, let's just do A for this one. I'm gonna use the check mark, say I'm done. We can say, hey, I'm done with it here, or we can edit the settings for it. So for example, GPS. What do we wanna do with the GPS in this power mode? Do we wanna not change it? Do we wanna turn off GPS? Do we wanna use normal GPS? Do we wanna use Ultra Trek GPS in some of the foreign satellites? How do we wanna do it? Well, again, I was setting this up to use with walk. In the walk one, I said I didn't care about GPS, so we're just gonna turn off GPS. Then we're gonna go down and we're gonna go through all of our settings and set it the way we want. So phone, for example. Do we want the phone connected under this power mode or not? I'm gonna do disconnect. Wrist heart rate. Do we wanna turn it off? 
Do we want to turn it on? Do we want to leave it to follow whatever the default value is? I'm going to do turn on. The pulse oximeter, do I want my pulse oximeter on or off? I'm going to turn it off. How about the map? Do we want to allow the map when we're using this power mode? Yes or no. I'm going to disable. My display, do I want my watch display always on? Or I can actually choose to have it time out after a certain amount of time. Let's do always on. Backlight, do we just leave the backlight as it is with the default or do we turn it off? I'm gonna turn off the backlight. And then accessories, accessories would be any kind of third party accessory you've got. So maybe you've got a third party heart rate monitor. Maybe you've got the Garmin Tempe that you're using to track temperature. Do you allow those things or not under this power mode? I'm going to disconnect. Once you've got it set the way you want, all we're going to do is we're going to press done and we've successfully created a power mode for what we want. No GPS, no phone, heart rate basically only. I can go create a second one. We'll name this one B. This was the one that we said I was going to use for the hunting activity. This one, what did I say? I said, I do want GPS, so we'll turn that on, normal GPS. Actually, I think what I'll do on that one, since it's hunting, I'll do ultra track. Do I want my phone connected? No. Do I want heart rate on? No. You'll notice pulse oximeter is automatically off because if you don't have heart rate monitoring on, you can't use pulse oximeter. Do I want the map? Sure, I'll take the map and I'll keep the display on. And the backlight, yeah, we'll leave it as don't change. Accessories, again, I'm gonna disconnect. Now I've created my second custom power mode, name B. Now that I've got my power modes created, we can go back to the main watch face and let's go do those activities again. So I'm gonna press GPS, we're going to go to walk, but this time when we go to our options, we're going to choose the power mode that we want to use for a walk. Instead of using normal, I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose the one that I created for walking. No GPS, no phone, just track my heart rate. I successfully added that power mode to that activity. So now whenever I go do the walk activity, by default, it'll use that power mode. Now I'm ready to go do the activity. You'll notice no GPS is connected, no phone is connected. All I have is my heart rate on and I'm ready to go walking. Same thing with the hunt activity. If I go into the hunt activity, it's set up to use the regular one, but we can press the menu button. We can go to the power mode. We can choose the power mode that we want to use for that given activity. Now I've got it set for the hunt activity. So now when I do my hunt activity, I'm using a power mode that actually makes sense for the given activity. Remember, all activities use specific power modes. So you can predefine whatever power mode you want for the given activity. I just made those custom ones for the hunt and walk activity. But when I go do the run activity, the delivered Garmin power modes might work perfectly fine. So I'll just use those on those activities. It's very simple. I hope I didn't confuse you. Basically, just know that you can go create power modes as specific as you want to, and then you can assign those power modes to the given activity that you're looking to do so that it matches the activity appropriately. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.